Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is September 17th, 2022, and this is a quick weekend update. All right. Yesterday, we said we were moments away from the bull run starting in cryptocurrency in the SPX, okay, in traditional markets. And we were, okay. Some assets did start to move, right? We got XRP up 12% since then. But Bitcoin's up only modestly. Ethereum's up only modestly. We're going to look at all of that and we're going to look at why and what we can expect once the DXY starts trading once again on Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If that sounds interesting to you, then watch until the very end. Let's get started with our market mover, the DXY. You can see this channel in teal is what we've been laser focused on, okay? If you're subscribed to the channel, you'll know we've been seeing this channel as basically the top pivot for the dollar, the US dollar currency index uh, to move back down out of this top, okay? This dotted line that you see here is uh, 12 to 13 year resistance, okay? And we've basically hit our heads up against it at the top of wave five in a rising wedge, broke down, came back up, and hit the top once again in this channel, which just hit it in this B wave pivot. And now we're rejecting off of that once again. We put in an impulse, a wave two correction, expect a wave three up or down and out of this channel. And what do we know about channels? Channels break violently, okay? So once we start trading once again, on Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do expect, even if we do gap down uh, momentarily, then go back up, I do expect a swift move down and out, initiating big moves in cryptocurrency and in the SPX on Monday. All right, so that is the XY, that's the market mover. Now let's look at what we really want to see action in which is Bitcoin, all right? So Bitcoin hasn't been completely stagnant. We know it's not like the SPX. It trades 24-7, but obviously it needs a mover, all right? It, its underlying asset, the US dollar, is what really causes the big moves, right? A $400 billion market cap does not move on somebody buying $400 million of the asset. That just doesn't work out mathematically, all right? So Bitcoin did get a slight move up and out of this descending wedge, which is good. But after that, you do expect a continued move to the beginning or the source of the descending wedge, which is the target of a descending wedge, right? It's always the, the beginning or where it started. And perhaps some more consolidation before continuation, okay? So this is what I'm seeing for Bitcoin. But, you know, there hasn't been that much movement, as you can see. We're still in the 1920K region that we've been in for quite some time. However, if you look at alt an altcoin like XRP, it has already begun its big move, okay? The, the bull market has already started for XRP, which is up about 12% since yesterday. So this is what you should be seeing Altcoins are going to be front-running Bitcoin's move because, one, it's alt season. So you should see Bitcoin dominance plummet as it is, right? If you go into dominance, you look at Bitcoin dominance. Um, it's already kind of consolidating at that big level that we've been seeing for quite some many months. And eventually what's going to happen is it's going to break it to the downside and targeting 23%, okay? So that's what we see with Bitcoin dominance. Um, let's see. Let's go back to Bitcoin. And let's go back into the small time frames. Guys, if you're getting value, please like, share, and subscribe. So XRP is a big mover, and there are some big movers, okay? In our watch list, that's the biggest of the movers. Um, 
Uh, reserve rates hasn't moved yet. Litecoin hasn't moved yet. Ethereum definitely has yet to move. Uh, Dodo's moved a little bit, okay? And you can see, once again, you have these descending wedges and the breakout of these descending wedges, the bullish breakout targets the top of the wedge, which we did. And you should see at this point some consolidation before continuation, all right? So this is what you're seeing across the board. I don't expect the weekend to be that in to, to be that sort of uh interesting in terms of price action you may see some altcoins move and front run the move but uh by and large in terms of bitcoins moves i don't see anything too big i may be wrong but i don't see anything too big i think the big moves happen once the us dollar currency index starts trading once again on Sunday evening, as I said, guys, if you appreciate this quick update, this quick weekend update, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you're having a great weekend. I hope you're well positioned to take advantage of this new bull market. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a quick update as well. Bye. Spots popping off, making some decision about hitting them one at a time with these ill rhymes. My love at the door, free drinks hitting the floor. The Zodiac.